Hi Scorpio, welcome to your January bonus, love, life, and advice. This is Mary and this is Leo's Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Scorpio, I decided to eliminate the element weekly readings, which was love, life, and advice. If you are familiar with my channel and if you're new, that's what I have done. And now instead of doing the elements, I'm going to turn that into a monthly bonus reading for each sign. So I thought everyone would enjoy this better and every sign would get their own individual bonus reading for the month. So we're going to look into love, life, advice, and then we'll clarify all that energy with the tarot. So hope everybody's doing well. Welcome everybody. Hope you're having a great new year. Hope you have great holidays. So let's see what's going on with Scorpio January bonus at this time. I do consider all my readings timeless. So if you'd like to go back, especially if you're new and watch past readings, your playlist, uh, general and love are below in the description box, as well as a ton of information down there, um, how to reach out for personal reading, decks I'm using, social media links, if you'd like to tip, donate, send a gift or anything like that, all that information is below. And I also pin some of that information into the top comment down below also. So let's see. Wow. For Scorpio, love bonus. Actually, love, life, and advice bonus. But let's see what's going on in the love department for Scorpio for this bonus reading at this time, Spirit, please. Thank you so much. And we have here romance. Lavish the one that you love with your personal attention and affection. 25 is 7. 7 to me is only always a very divinely guided spiritual number. So let's see what's going on here. So... Feeling romantic, having a, a new romantic partner. And we have here, the only thing that is real is love. Shift your focus from the problem back to love. Seven again. Wow. So seven, seven. Very spiritual, divinely guided number here. So I don't know if there's been anything going on between you and your person. If you are connected with somebody or if you're having a little bit of a trouble in time right now. It's telling you to just shift the focus from the problems, whatever, back to love. To lavish the one you love, you know, with love and romance, affection, that kind of energy. If you're having some troubles, um, if you do add up 7, 7 is 14 and that is 5. So that is about change. So there may be something that has to change in your connection or your relationship or whatever it is for you. So we're going to clarify that energy with the tarot. But now let's pull for your life portion, for your bonus reading. You can leave me a comment below how you like these bonus readings. And I know everybody likes the love readings, but a lot of people also like the general readings and the spiritual type readings. I think I'm discontinuing the spiritual readings and just focusing on love in general and these bonus readings. So you can let me know what you think if you like to in the comments. All right, so life for Scorpio at this time, Spirit, please. What do they need to know for this bonus reading? Thank you so much for Scorpio. Well, we have the nine of Gabriel. Stay determined and move forward. Be prepared for any possibility environmental activism. So this is the nine of wands, which is fire energy. And the nine of wands, uh, this deck is a little different, but that usually talks about being the wounded warrior, being the tattered soldier. You know, you've been through a journey, you've been through struggles and a fight, you know, but when you have to, you know, you're ready to keep moving on, keep fighting on if need be. And so there's something here is telling you to keep moving forward and be uh, determined, be prepared to um, deal with something if you have to. And now we have the King of Raphael, warm, generous, honorable, refined. Yes, it is safe to trust the ability to accomplish many things at once. Follow your creative passion. So this is the King of Cups, and that's your energy. King or queen, doesn't matter. Uh, that's that water energy. So I think it's telling you here to be in your power and to have that passionate, fiery energy to fight for something that you feel may be uh, something you need to fight for here and to trust everything will be fine. Because you have the ability to accomplish many things at once and to follow your creative passions. And this is also a very intuitive energy also. And I forgot to mention the sign, uh, this reading is for Scorpio in your sun, moon, rising, Jupiter, or Venus. Since it is 
about love, life, advice, just everything. So I would say uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter, and Venus. A lot of people question that. So I say if you have Scorpio heavily in your chart anywhere, then you could watch uh, Scorpio readings. So I'm going to clarify that energy also with Tarot. All right. Being in your energy, something you feel you need to fight for, not give up on. So let's see what your advice is, Scorpio. I just want to give a shout out to all the new subscribers. Thank you. Thank you. Those who have tipped or donated, sent a gift, reached out for personal reading. However, you supported me in the channel. It's truly, truly appreciated. And I could not do it without you guys. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let's see what your advice is for this bonus reading for Scorpio. What's the advice for Scorpio spirit, please? Thank you so much for that one. Erin, I am not sure how you say that, but peace. There is no need to worry as everything is working out beautifully. So whatever you're fighting for here and standing in your power with, with that King of Cups, King or Queen of Cups energy here is telling you that there'll be a peaceful resolution. Things will be fine. You may feel like it's a really a, it's a real struggle right now, but just to keep going because everything's going to be fine and there's no need to worry. And we have Ostara, Fertility. It's the perfect time for you to start new projects, access new ideas, and give birth to new conditions. So if you're giving infertility, uh, if some of you are trying to have a child, that may not be for everybody. Um, and that could be what you're fighting for here. Maybe it's been a real struggle to conceive. But I think um, you will have a peaceful outcome and your wish will come true here with um that if not for some of you this could be the beginning of something new a new project idea endeavor uh, a new job a new hobby uh, a little like side job or project that you want to work on that you want to try to create and move forward it's telling you not to give up to keep going to stand in your power follow your intuition and everything will work out fine and you will have this peaceful beautiful new uh, beginning that you're working on here hmm. all right so i feel like these kind of go together but over here um could be a no new romantic partner um or this could be some for some of you it could be somebody new um and maybe i don't know maybe one of you are re re um kind of reluctant to start like a new committed relationship maybe you're just dating um, I feel like though, if you're a couple or married or whatever the situation may be, if you're going through some troubling times right now, I think you'll get over that. Just shift the focus back to love and affection, romance, bringing that back into the uh, connection. So let's see what's going on in love to clarify. Oh, that's way too many. So I do want to say, can't ask uh, Scorpio, especially if you're new. If you like my channel, my style, how I read, you can check out my channel. If you like what you see, please do uh, like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. If you subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post all my readings so you don't miss out. And if you do, thank you, thank you. So let's see what's going on here. So we've got the King of Cups twice here and the Page of Swords. So this is uh, open, truthful communication. Could be an energy of like just like watching each other and not saying anything. Um, but I feel like being open and honest with our feelings, our emotions here, being mature um, with how, how we're feeling. I think definitely here, focusing back to truth, honesty, love, affection, romance, being um, adults, being um, mature about whatever's going on here. And I was just shown the Ten of Cups, but that's too big of a clump, so I'm not going to take that. So let's see, let's get a few more here. Yeah, Ace of Cups. So this could be a brand new beginning in love for some. It could be brand new connection here. And maybe one is a little reluctant to like totally commit because of things of the past. That's having them feeling conflicted. But Spirit's here to say that the only thing real is love, whether it's you or them. And it's time to show love, affection, and romance. Love, emotions overflowing, especially with that King of Cups energy. Maybe sometimes they don't truly say how they feel, but it's needed with the Page of Swords energy. And if this is a long-term commitment, marriage, whatever here, um, it's time to be open and honest and mature with our feelings. 
because there is a lot of love and emotions here between the two of you, especially with the Ace of Cups. You can have like a renewed um, love between each other. Peace, harmony, spiritual energy. So let's get a couple more here. And I did feel that the two sevens there, very spiritual energy, strength. So very strong bond here. Having that courage, strength, willpower, determination, um, knowing what to hold back when you need to, not say things like with the Page of Swords, maybe you shouldn't say, maybe thinking a little bit before you just blurt something out. Maybe this is what caused some friction between the two of you. Um, you know, strength, you kind of like tame the beast within, you kind of hold back, you have that willpower, you know, you know, when to not say something, the wheel of fortune. So things going in a better direction here. Divine timing, fate, destiny, better luck, timing, um, things just going in a better direction. So I think things are going to get better here once um, there's truth, clarity, communication. Yeah, people are defensive. So some people here need to let down their guard a little bit instead of, you know, being in defense mode maybe between each other or if somebody's a little defensive and kind of blocking off love and commitment um, I think, you know, this is a divinely guided connection here, especially with the two sevens in the Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Cups and Strength, definitely a soulmate connection here, but someone needs to unblock themselves from love if it's new. And if it's a long-term long uh, connection, you need to kind of let down your defenses a little bit, be open and honest, share how you're truly feeling, know when to hold back, know when to move forward and things will move in a better direction because you do have this cup just full of spiritual energy, love, emotions, feelings between the two of you. Wow, okay. So let's see what's going on here with the Nine of Wands and the King of Cups for you. The Chariot, so moving forward, drive, ambition, passion, determination, balance, success and victory moving forward quickly, but then moving forward slowly. Hmm, okay, well, two opposing energies here. <laughs> I mean, the chariot does kind of overtrump the Knight of Pentacles because it's a major, but the Knight of Pentacles doesn't even move. He's very, very slow moving, uh, but he's very secure. He's stable, he's grounded, he's practical. He thinks things through, through thoroughly, um, takes a very smart, cautious approach, um, very grounding energy. But moving to Seven of Cups. So feeling, I think, yeah, I think you were confused. It's like you want to rush forward and then you kind of hold back and slow down. It's like opposing energy, like feeling like confused and conflicted and not sure what to do sometimes. Like, okay, I'm moving forward quickly. Oh, I'm moving forward too quickly, so I need to draw back my energy. I'm feeling very, I feel like... Um, like clouded and confused with that Seven of Cups energy. Like, how do I get to that big pinnacle that I want, that I see in the distance that I'm fighting for? You know, you, you start to go for it and then you kind of stop and you back off. It's kind of the energy I'm getting. If that makes sense for some of you. Seven of Swords, yeah, energy. So we got two sevens here. So, you know, the Seven of Swords energy is, it can be like lies, deceit, sneaky energy something you can't trust or it could be self-deceit or someone just kind of sneaking away from a situation or hold the sneaking back or something like that i don't know let's see why is this here the scorpio ten of pentacles are you afraid of the ten of pentacles <laughs> are you afraid like you don't know what you're going to do once you have this this success that's what i'm feeling it's like you're afraid of this Ten of Pentacles, like all the success that you know is coming that you can have of like total happy home and family or all that abundant success, wealth, growth, abundant. You're just, you're scared of it. And I think sometimes you kind of shy away from it because you got like that confused, um, conflicting energy there of rushing, stopping, rushing, stopping. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I want it. I'm not sure. But now we got the Five of Cups. So it's sadness, loss, hurt, loneliness. So I feel like if you don't keep going and fighting for this and staying grounded in your King of Cups energy and remain balanced and just keep having that willpower, that strength, and that confidence, 
just keep going, but being smart and practical about it. Um, because you can have the Ten of Pentacles. It's right here, but I feel like you shy away from it. And if you run away from this, you, you're just going to feel like remorse about the whole thing. You're going to be like, why did I just stop? Or why did I not go for it? Why did I just back away? Because I was scared. I was afraid of success. I don't know if that makes sense for somebody, but I think you need to get out of that energy because you do have the Ten of Pentacles here. So it's telling you here to keep fighting for it, to keep going. All right. So, okay. So let's see what this peace and fertility is about for you, Scorpio. Ten of Cups. Happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way. Happy home and family. Stress, worry, anxiety, fear. The Nine of Swords energy. But going in a better direction with the Six of Swords. So coming out of the stress and fear and going to a better place, leaving behind what's not serving you. Sailing away to peace, harmony, balance. Sailing to your Ten of Cups, overcoming this Nine of Swords energy. Wow, that just flew. So it could be children <laughs> for some of you here. You're, you're, some of you, I feel like, are trying to conceive. Trying and trying and trying. Because this can be about a child. Page of Cups. Wow. So, all right. So let's see. Nine of Rods. Again, and we get the Nine of Rods over there. So if this is connected to that, if not, then this could be something different. But this is all the Nine of Rods, again, about to keep trying, trying. Don't give up. Don't give up. Because you do have the Ten of Cups there, and you do have sailing to a better place, overcoming stress, fear, and anxiety. Don't give up because you have Page of Cups right there and the Lovers. So, ahem, uh, you know, just keep getting it on with your lover, I guess, because <laughs> for, this may not be for everybody, but if you're trying to conceive, this is telling you not to give up with your lover here because the Page of Cups can represent a child. And you have a child here, you have fertility there. So knowing like when it's the right time to, you know, go off and do your thing to conceive, you know, not to give up because the page is right there and the peaceful outcome is right there. The new beginning is right there. And for some of you, if it's not conceiving a child, um, this could be just going to a better place with your person. Um, or again, it could be starting something new with your person. Maybe together you're starting a new journey, starting something new, a new business, a new moving. You could be actually moving to a new home or something like that or traveling or something like that. But some reason there's stress and worry about, about certain things. So however that resonates for you, a lot of different messages there. So now we have the Empress. So again, mother figure. So wow, I really do believe some of you are trying to conceive. And here is the mother so you, some of you will be a mother, not to give up, birth of new things, knight of cups, so taking that loving action, you know what I mean, moving forward, um, the high priestess, trust your gut and your intuition, five of pentacles, you know, it's about monetary lack or feeling left out in the cold, so you may be like, like you know it's coming, but you're not seeing it in the physical, so you're feeling like that five of pentacles energy, like loss and sadness and lack because it's not happening but you intuitively know it's going to happen um kind of energy so just keep moving forward in you know love passion you know kind of energy because the mother is here birth of new things and some of you it could be birth of a new like i said project or new relationship new project idea hobby job career entrepreneurship but some of you i do feel like are trying to conceive and all the energy here is coming through of actually conceiving for some of you. So, wow. Okay, Scorpio, so best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.